Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing very well. Welcome to this edition of Places in News where we bring to you the places that have been in news lately. In today's edition we are going to start off with a discussion with our very first location as a Red Sea. So recently it has been in news as Iran's navy seized two US navy sea drones in the Red Sea region. Now as you can see in the map here we have the Red Sea and this is the Mediterranean Sea. This is the entire African continent. Here we have Egypt and this is the Sinai Peninsula of Egypt. Now Sinai Peninsula is a part of Asian landmass or you can say the Middle Eastern region but belongs to Egypt and this one is the Middle Eastern region or Middle East Asia. Coming to this region here we have the very famous Suez Canal. It starts from Port Said in the north and ends at Port Suez in the south. Here we have Port Said in the north and it ends at Port Suez in the south. So as you can see the Red Sea is a narrow strip of water that lies in a fault depression separating two great blocks of earth's crust that is Arabia and North Africa. Now the northern end of Red Sea splits into two parts. First of all we have the Gulf of Suez. Here we have the Gulf of Suez and this is known as the Gulf of Aqaba. The Gulf of Aqaba. Now it is named after a port city Aqaba that belongs to Jordan. So here we have the port city of Aqaba and therefore it is named as the Gulf of Aqaba. Now let us see the countries that adjoin the Red Sea or the bordering regions. First of all on the eastern shore we have Saudi Arabia and Yemen and if you come on the western front we have Egypt then Sudan we have Eritrea and this is Djibouti. Now here in this region between the Gulf of Aqaba and the Red Sea we have this strait which is known as the Strait of Tehran. Coming to the south we have the famous Strait of Bab Al Mandeb. Now you know the Strait of Bab Al Mandeb is very famous because it is a narrow strait and this adjoins Djibouti and Yemen. So this is a very strategic location and here we have the Gulf of Aden which further joins into the Arabian Sea. Now the Red Sea extending southeastwards from the city of Suez till Bab Al Mandeb. So it is nearly around 1930 kilometers in length. Now coming back to the Gulf of Suez and the Gulf of Aqaba. The Gulf of Suez is shallow that is only about 180 to 210 feet in depth whereas the Gulf of Aqaba is way much deeper that is around 5500 feet deep. Now as the Red Sea connects the Mediterranean Sea via Suez Canal further to the Gulf of Aden and Arabian Sea it is one of the most heavily traveled waterways in the world that carries maritime traffic between Europe and Asia. Now the Red Sea also contains some of the world's hottest and saltiest sea waters. If we talk about the origin of the name of Red Sea, there are several theories regarding the origin of its name and one of the popular theory gives credit to the seasonal blooms of red-colored cyanobacteria algae. Now normally the Red Sea is intense blue-green in color but it is populated by extensive blooms of this particular bacteria. The name of bacteria is Trichodesmium erythrium and due to this reason the Red Sea is also known as the Erythrium Sea. So as this particular cyanobacteria algae dies down in the sea, it leaves a reddish brown color, hence the name Red Sea. Now as we have already discussed, the Red Sea lies in a fault depression that separates two great blocks of Earth's crust that is Arabia and North Africa and also its northern end splits into two parts that is the Gulf of Suez to the northwest and Gulf of Aqaba to the northeast. So this was a little bit about Red Sea. So let us move on to our next location and that is Chile. It was recently seen in news as voters in Chile rejected a new constitution which was due to replace the older one that was drawn upon by General Augusto Pinochet's military rule. So let us look into the map where is Chile located. Now as we can see it is a country that is part of the continent of South America. Here we have the Pacific Ocean and here we have the Atlantic Ocean. This is Chile with the capital city Santiago. So as you can see Chile lies on the western front of the South American continent. It has a huge coastline and it is bordered by Peru to the north. We have Bolivia and then Argentina. Now if you see here we have the Falkland Island that belongs to UK. This is a country called Uruguay and here we have a water body which is known as Rio de la Plata. So some people consider the Rio de la Plata region as a river but some geographers call it a large bay or marginal sea of the Atlantic Ocean. If we consider it to be a river, it will be the widest river in the world 
that has a maximum width of about 220 kilometers and a total surface area of about 35000 kilometers square now if you go into bit of history of chile about 10000 years ago indigenous people migrated and settled in the fertile valleys and coastal areas of what is known as the present day chile in the year 1520 while attempting to circumnavigate the globe ferdinand magellan discovered the southern passage which is now named after him and this is known as the famous strait of magellan so with this he became the first european to set foot on the present day chile so here we have the route that is known as the strait of magellan that ferdinand magellan discovered during his voyage around the world if we talk about the location of chile as we have discussed it is on the western part of south america the capital city is santiago and the national language is spanish also chile occupies a long narrow strip of land that is between the andes mountain ranges to the east and the pacific ocean to the west it is also the southernmost country in the world and hence it becomes closest to antarctica now if we talk about the climate and topography of chile the diverse climate ranges from world's driest desert in the north that is the famous atacama desert through mediterranean climate in the center humid subtropical climate in the easter island that is part of chile to an oceanic climate including alpine and tundra and also glaciers in the east and south region an important fact is that chile is located along a highly seismic and volcanic zone that is part of the pacific ring of fire because of the subduction of the nazca and the antarctic plate in the south american plate therefore we can see a lot of volcanic activity around this region now if we talk about the resources first of all copper mining makes up 20% of chilean gdp and 60% of the entire exports overall it produces one third of world's copper now escondida it is the largest copper mine in the world that produces over 5% of the global supplies it is situated in chile the country is also rich in mineral resources such as lithium and as we know lithium is very important for the production of lithium ion batteries if we talk about the membership it is a member of organization for economic cooperation and development again pacific alliance and also clac now clac stands for community of latin american and caribbean states further on the chilean currency is chilean peso and the five biggest trading partners of chile as of 2021 are china united states of america japan south korea and brazil well this was a little bit about chile now let us move on to our next location and that is ethiopia recently it was again in news as millions of people are facing food insecurity in the country as we know ethiopia belongs to the horn of africa region let us look into the map where it is situated so as you can see ethiopia is in the horn of africa region it is bordered by eritrea to the north we have djibouti to the north east somalia to the east kenya to the south and we have sudan and south sudan to the west the capital is addis ababa and if we talk about the nearby water bodies we have the red sea this is the mediterranean sea this is the gulf of aden here we have the famous strait of bab al mandeb and this is the indian ocean so as we have discussed ethiopia is a part of horn of africa region with the 1993 secession of eritrea eritrea was a former province of ethiopia itself so ethiopia became a landlocked after this secession now if we talk about the horn of africa region the horn of africa is a peninsula that is situated in the northeast of the africa continent it includes the countries of somalia ethiopia eritrea and djibouti and you can also learn it with the help of mnemonics seed somalia eritrea ethiopia and djibouti so this region is strategically very important and also the capital of ethiopia addis ababa is important as the african union and the united nations economic commission for africa have their headquarters in its capital that is addis ababa Now let us talk about certain geographical features. First of all, Ethiopia is located in the tropical latitudes. The highest point is known as Mount Ras Dejan or it is also known as Dashin. Now if we talk about the Danakil depression that is the lowest point in Ethiopia. The Danakil depression is the hottest place on earth in terms of year round average temperature and it is also one of the lowest places on earth that is around 100 meters or you can say 330 feet below the sea level. If we talk about the largest inland lake in Ethiopia it is Lake Tana. Now Lake Tana is a very famous lake because it is the main reservoir for the Blue Nile River. So I leave you with one question you have to write down the reservoir or the lake that is the reservoir for the White Nile River. Now if we talk about the drainage system over here 
The Western Drainage System, that is the largest, it includes the Blue Nile, that is also known as Ebe in Ethiopia, and the Taziki with the Baro Rivers. And all the three rivers flow west to White Nile in South Sudan and Sudan. Second is the Rift Valley Internal Drainage System. And again, there is the third drainage system, that is of the Shebel and Jinel Rivers, that drains into the Indian Ocean. That means flowing eastward towards the Indian Ocean. Well, this was a little bit about Ethiopia. And with this, we call it a wrap of today's edition of Places and News. I hope you liked the video. I will see you with some other topic tomorrow. Till then, take care and do stay tuned.